All right, welcome back to our graphs here. So there are a few different ways that scientists will come up with one number to represent a group of numbers. So sometimes they might calculate the range, which is the difference between the smallest and biggest numbers in the group. Other times they might use the median, the middle number, or the mode, the most common number. For our purposes though, we're going to use the mean or average. So the mean is calculated by adding up all of the readings and dividing them by the total number. So with Sage Modeler, it will actually do this for us if we select mean in this little toolbar here. So click on the little ruler and mean. And this adds a little blue line that represents the mean of all of the different percent mass loss amounts for each mulch bag type. And you can see how the mean compares to all of the points as well where it's kind of in general in the middle. It's brought down by really low numbers, but brought up by higher numbers. And as you can see, it is overall higher in our straw -like mulch bags and our woody mulch bags from this particular day. So now it's your turn. You can go ahead and create three graphs like the one we just did together. And before I move on, one thing that I actually don't want to forget about is to label our graph as well. So I think the easiest way to do this will be to label it um, with the research question we're answering. So specifically here, mulch decomposition rate. So I'll type that at the top as our title. All right, so do the same thing for mulch decomposition rate the decomposition rate of each mulch bag type. And then you're gonna to wanna to create a graph for the two other research questions as well. So for mulch's effect on decomposition, that's where we wanna think about um, the mulch plot type, comparing where the bags were placed, if they were placed in straw-like mulch or woody mulch, but still comparing the percent mass loss or the decomposition rate. Then for that last question, about mulch's effect on soil moisture. You'll want to use the soil moisture data here. And again, we're thinking about plot type. So where were these soil moisture measurements taken? In no mulch, straw-like mulch, or woody mulch? And comparing what the percentage of soil moisture was in those plots. All right, good luck.